friends and family. This is Megan Bone, aka Tall the Bigu Saram. And nobody asked, but since I made the video about words I always say in Korean, it got me to thinking. Like, you don't realize it, right? But not only do you say words in Korean, but also your English, sometimes sentence structure, changes as well. And I realized it becomes more Korean, the English words that you say. So without further ado, ways your English might become Koreanized. Okay, so the first way your English might become Koreanized is you might start saying some Korean words and thinking that they're English. I was with my girl Toy, Toyana Brown, and you know, we was just talking, and she was like, can you hand me my handphone? And I was like, oh yeah, sure, here's your handphone. And then we looked at each other and we were like, dude, you just, you called it a handphone. I was like, yeah. And I realized we had been calling it a handphone for a long time too. In Korea, they call it handphone. Handphone, right? You know, we call it cell phone or just phone, but we started calling it handphone. So if you've been in Korea for a couple of years, okay, and you hang out with lots of Korean people, then you might start calling this handphone in English if your friends speak Korean too. I'm just saying. Oh, what happened? Wow. I hate that. Do you ever do that sometimes? Okay, so the next word that might become Koreanized is something like um, a laptop right so we call it laptop right but in korea they call it notebook notebook a couple times they're like give me my notebook but then we just know that notebook is the computer okay so some sentences that you might change to korean sentence structure that might become so koreanized is saying stuff like eat the medicine eat the coffee eat alcohol and that's because in korean you can use the word mokta, which means to eat or drink sometimes too. I mean, there's a word for for bashida, like to drink. But a lot of times, people will just say like you eat something. Like for example, medicine. You always eat medicine in Korea, but you know in English you take medicine. So I found myself saying, "Hey, I'm gonna eat this medicine," or "Did you eat this medicine?" And it just seems like normal English for me. It's like, "Did you eat this medicine?" No, I did not. Yes, I did eat this medicine. Okay, so the next one is. Instead of saying blah, 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 wow, that even felt weird to say blah, blah, blah. I cannot tell you the last time I've said blah, blah, blah. Instead of saying blah, 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 we say mo, 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 or like dang, dang, dang. Like if you're talking about like a space or something, you know, fill in the blank or whatever, you can say, oh, it is, you know, dang, 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 whatever, dang, 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 or mo, mo, mo. I definitely started saying, and it just feels, it became a part of my English, so maybe it'll become a part of yours. I don't know. Okay, so one that is grammatically so, so wrong is to the blah, blah, blah. So I realize sometimes when we're switching like Korean and English, when Korean people speak English, some of the errors that they make, because you hear it so much, it kind of like sticks into your head too. So Korean people will always say to the mo, 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 which you can say to the, but in a lot of cases, you just need to say to. So for example, I might be like, I'm going to the Hongdae station, right? But like, you don't go to the Hongdae station, you go to Hongdae station, right? But I found myself doing that a couple times and I was like, okay, so this one's kind of a funny one. In Korea, you say chai, which means well, and you ask that for everything. So if you want to ask someone, did you enjoy your meal or whatever, you can say chai, like did you eat well, basically? But then, you know, in English, we change per situation. So did you enjoy that meal? We wouldn't say, did you eat well, unless, we're saying somebody eats well, like in general, like they eat well, you know? Or like a baby, like, oh, is he picky? No, he eats well, right? But not like, did you eat well? Like, as in, did you enjoy your meal? So I be saying that. So a funny example, I was out with some Korean friends, and it was back when I used to drink milk. We were having milkshakes, and it was so thick, so my Korean friend was like, are you sucking it well? I know I should not have my mind in the gutter, but we all felt it, and we just busted out laughing, because that was funny. <laughs> but in Korea, you would ask that, are you sucking it well? You know, like, can it come up to the straw, you know, well? Even though the milkshake is thick, like, can you suck it well? So, you might find yourself saying well for a lot of things that we wouldn't usually say well for. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> if you like this wig that I'm wearing, I did get this wig from Uni Wigs. You can go onto the website down below, Uni Wigs and you can get a 10% off discount, you know, if you use the code MEGAN10. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, 
snap chat like me on facebook and i will see ya Whew, so sleepy yeah i have no energy i hope you enjoyed okay bye